This is a computer-generated image of an explosion deep inside a star. It's not a run-of-the-mill thermonuclear explosion that fuels a healthy star. Instead, it's the kind of explosion that seals its fate. It's called a supernova. The rest of the star, its surface and most of its mass, is completely oblivious to its uh, impending fate. That explosion, which will take on the order of just a few seconds, will propagate through the star on periods of hours to a day. With help from the National Science Foundation, Princeton University astrophysicist Adam Burroughs uses supercomputers to create 3D images of supernovae that allow him to peer inside stars just before they explode. One of the things we've discovered is it doesn't explode as a ring expanding out. Uh, it explodes in tendrils and fingers. It explodes very turbulently. Burroughs says it's important to learn about supernovae because without them, there would be no us. Supernovae are important for a variety of reasons. The material that's ejected in the supernova uh, mixes with the interstellar medium. That material will start to collapse. Some of that gas will form the next generation of stars, and you'll go through the same cycle again. But they're also the source of many of the heavy elements of nature. Heavy elements like the calcium in your bones, the fluoride in your toothpaste, or the iron in your blood are all manufactured in supernovae and it takes a lot of star power to make those elements. Every time they explode, they give off as much as 10 to the 28 megatons of TNT equivalent in energy. So that's one with 28 zeros followed, uh, megatons, where a megaton is the, the uh, explosive equivalent of uh, one of the largest hydrogen bombs. The simulations are created using complex mathematical models and take months to process. Being able to understand the explosions with these simulations, I think, is a, a milestone in theoretical astrophysics. Understanding cosmic superstars with a little help from supercomputers. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.